All right, guys, so it is Tuesday, and I know that I was supposed to have this video up yesterday, but I'm gonna put it up, I'm gonna finish it right now, edit it, put it up, and I promise I'll have a video for Wednesday, and we'll definitely have a video for Friday. My bad. I'm happy that I've been able to get this far without missing a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. So I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. But I'm also going to hold myself accountable that I did not post yesterday. And I was trying to think of a video to post, but I was like, I don't feel like making something up. I don't feel like making some four-minute video just to throw it out there, right? But something came up, and sorry that I look exhausted. I am. This is like the first rain in Oregon in a while. And when it rains, you know, like when you just, you could just sleep all day. Even though I went to bed at like 11, 11.30, I still feel like I could just sleep all day. Shout out to Asher, I have my T-Rex cup with some cafe in it, some cafe. Corey, cause this is the cafe uh, that I got in Philly from him. So, shout out to both, both guys. Okay, I'm answering emails and somebody emailed me talking about their top surgery. Pretty much I just want to, you know, make a little couple minutes about top surgery and the aftercare of it. Now you can go back in my videos and you can see exactly how I cared for my top surgery. You can see before, during, after. I mean, I documented every couple of days during that process. But I wanna say a couple of things, but I feel like the main points I wanna make are that when we share pictures online and we ask other people for advice, we have to be careful the things that we're asking for. For example, somebody sent me pictures of their chest, their nipples and their scars, and it's about two or three weeks post-op, and they're asking me what I think. And at the end of the day, everybody's body is different. So what could take me five or six weeks to heal from could take you two or three weeks to heal from, which could take another person four or five weeks and could take someone else eight to 10 weeks. Giving someone a picture who's not a doctor, who doesn't understand, or, or even is not a doctor who has never done the surgery before, or is not a surgeon, it's very hard to get advice because if someone looks at, you know, your scars or your nipple, like, they don't know if it's, if it's like gonna fall off or not. I mean, yes, there's definitely things that you can look for um, to know that your nipple is not healing properly. If it starts to get really, really, really black, that's a really good indication that it's not going well uh, because, you know, that black means that the skin tissue is dying off. But whatever, the point is, is that nobody who's not a doctor, who is not a surgeon, who is not your surgeon, can really tell you if you're doing well or not. You know, I mostly wanted to focus this little segment of the video on the fact that recovery is important and that Listen, this top surgery is not like some crazy, insane surgery. I'm not gonna say that, okay? But I am gonna say that it's a serious surgery still. I mean, you're literally cutting an entire, you know, from one armpit all the way to the other armpit, you know? You're literally cutting all of that. You're removing breast tissue. I mean, you know, some people have pounds of breast tissue. Some people have ounces, but still, you're, re you're literally removing something. You're cutting off your nipple and putting it back on, okay? And you're taking excess skin and pulling it and stretching it down. So it's a pretty serious surgery. Now, yeah, you go in, you get, you know, you get it done and you get home the same day, but it's still serious. And people, you, we need to start treating it a little bit more seriously. It's really hard for me to see people three months, three weeks post-op and they're going like this in their picture or they're swimming and they're two, you know, three and a half weeks post-op and they've got sunglasses on and they're in, at the beach like this and the sun is just beating down on their, on their bare chest. I just feel like people need to know that like surgery, it's a while to recover. You know, I would say six to eight weeks until you're just doing normal things again, like standing up. You know what I mean? Something simple like that, okay? And then, I, you know, literally, I would say six months until you can like, I, it was like six or eight months until I was able to wake up and go, Ugh. and I would say a year until I was doing workouts at the gym again, until I was going up above my head and doing things like crazy, you know what I mean? All types of things above my head. 
I just want people to remember that, you know, you're not going to get top surgery, wait two weeks, wait four weeks, and be right back at it. And I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to say that if you want your scars to be as as least seeable as possible and not saying that that should be like your main goal I'm just saying you know a lot of people I know who say when they first get their top surgery they go oh I don't really care oh it's fine it's fine and then two or three years later they're looking at their scars and they're big and red and thick and that's the word <laughs> they're raised on their skin or they're just looking in the mirror and they and they start to go like oh man I kind of wish I had waited you know what I mean I wish I had done this I wish I had done that and it's like, you only get this surgery once, guys. So why would you, why not just take all the precautions that you could possibly think of and just do them? I mean, it sucks to not work out my shoulders for one whole year. I mean, literally, I did not do any shoulder workouts for like a year. It sucked. But I just knew that like, I didn't, I, for me personally, I wanted my scars to be as least visible as possible. And so that's what I tried to obtain. Okay, so I listened to all my doctor's order. I took the medicines they took me to take, uh, the vitamins. Uh, I did the um, treatment, the scar treatment. I massage. I mean, I really tried to do what I was supposed to do. And um, I also was working out my chest beforehand. And like, you know, so trying to get healthy before so that I could have a really great time under, like in surgery and like no complications. And so I just want to remind people that surgery takes time to heal. Okay, and that you, you don't try to like macho it out and be like, oh, I, you know, I was at that mall the next day. That's great. That's fantastic. If you felt good enough to get up, not take your meds, go to the mall, have a great time. That is freaking awesome. I'm so happy for you. But I'm going to tell you that 99.5% of us are not going to have that experience. 99.5% of us are going to be on a bed on a couch and that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be watching TV, going on online on the their phones, like playing games because you're not going to be able to just get up. And that's again, it's amazing that some people ex have that experience. I think it's awesome if you have a, uh, you know, usually though if you're having a double mastectomy, right? Okay? Um, you're, you're not going to be that great. <laughs> okay? Um, and you can go back in my videos. You know, I was I was fairly miserable being by the fifth or sixth day tied up and I felt great the next week, but I still was very, you know, I didn't drive for like three weeks, you know, and um, I understand I had that ability, but you know, I could have also taken a bus. I could have also done a lot of other things. I was lucky to have a boss who was willing to come pick me up, but whatever. The point is it takes time. Don't rush. Make sure you ask your doctor too, guys. Like just because you leave the doctor's office, just because he's taking your tubes out, maybe you flew home or whatever, they're still your doctor. You still pay them a lot of money. And if you didn't pay, your insurance paid, which you pay for. So you paid them a lot of money. Call them up. Tell them that you want to Skype with them. Tell them you want to send them pictures. You're feeling nervous about your blah, 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 your yada, yada. You know what I mean? Let them know. You deserve that. You deserve to still have their attention and be he healed properly. They want you to heal properly. I'm telling you. They want you to have a good time so that you'll refer more people to them. This video went really long. It wasn't supposed to. But, uh, yeah. So, just just remember that, guys. Don't, don't send me pictures of your chest and ask for advice because I'm gonna tell you, I don't really know, ask your doctor. And that's because I don't wanna put you in danger. I don't want you to be like, well, Aiden said my nipple is fine and then like three days later, your nipple falls off. Like, oh my goodness, I would not wanna be that guy, you know? So um, just remember that. Just try to keep that in mind that it all takes time and everyone's different. And you know what, guys? I took my meds all the way through. I think I, 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 think I took them nonstop for the first 48 to 72 hours, I was literally every four to six hours, and then by the, I think by the second or third day, I stopped taking it during the day, and I would just take it at night. When I was going to bed, I would take my medicine, which was prescribed to me, okay? We're not abusing it. We're taking the prescription, which is prescribed. So, it's cool that if you don't have to take the medicine, but like, I have no shame in saying, I was in pain. I needed my meds, man. I wanted to not be in as much pain. Don't be like macho and try to rawr, 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 rawr. oh no this pain is fine I can handle it oh my friend he didn't take his meds at all or my other friend only took his meds for the for one day or 
Listen, if you take your meds all five days, awesome, okay? Don't be a macho man. Don't ask others who are not doctors for advice. Ask your doctor for advice. That's who you should go to. Don't look to everyone else's recovery to determine yours. You can look to everyone else's recovery and their experience, even my own experience. You, look, you can look towards my experience as an example, but don't make that be like, that's how mine's gonna go because everybody's different. Everybody's different. So end of this video, talked forever, ran it all day, my bad, but uh, I'm happy I made it because I do get these questions a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, sorry about not having this video up on Monday, but it will be up today, and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.